Hey, buddy. I'll do it right Where are you now. headed? I bet I'll be riding that place in not. Where are you going? That must be him. Going to San Francisco. Hi, Uncle. Hi, Auntie. To find your heart. I'm okay. Back. So this broadcast is a little different today. This is Dunbar Land Farms coming to you from Union Station, Omaha, Nebraska. And you'll see what some videos and footage the after this. And and We're out here on vacation, I'm so sure. the farm I'm work has been left I behind. So hope they you enjoy this video. Like yeah. And then here's the back of the train. So now we're going to enter into the train. All the oh, area. This is a dying car. Yeah. Very palatial. Look at this piece. Mm-hmm. Those seats comfy? These seats are very comfortable. Not sure where this is going today. Very comfortable for someone behind you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> we're just having fun. We're that from is... out of state. So. so are we, so it's all good. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Florida. Oh, oh. Florida. Oh, good. How about we're you? Kentucky? Oh, down Kentucky. by the lakes. Yeah, yeah, we go to Florida every winter. So. Okay. Yeah. Much more comfortable than today's train, I'm sure. Oh. Let me sit yeah, down. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. We're just having fun. These are sleeper berths. May not have had air conditioning, but certainly had heat. Carpet. Oh, here's where we cross over into the other coach. Mm -hmm. This would be the, I don't know if this is a dining car or like a no, bar car. No, this is just a bar car, I think, yeah, because there's, because the, there's bar the bar. Because there's the bar. Uh -huh. Sit in one of these seats. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. I'm going to get a drink here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're choosing. Plush seating, American Railroad, 1890 to 1920. This was? Dine on broiled mutton chops, turtle soup, fresh antelope, and then wash it all down with a glass of French champagne. And the, this is a Southern Pacific. Pretty classic. Mm -hmm. I can't get trip on this. Mm -hmm. I don't think I think this is the end. 
like the prices. And another car. Oh, let's see the restroom. Full-size toilet, full-size sink, and even a baby sink for kids, I guess. This Very good. More vents. More sleeper berths. Here's one pulled down. Hey, did you see this? Oh. This is one that's pulled down. Oh, a sleeper. Mm -hmm. This is like in some like it hot. <laughs> so, I'm not sure how you get up in there. <laughs> Oh, it's on a chain. A chain that pulls down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Lights up in there. And then it pulls you back up with the chain. Well, you better be out of it when it pulls you back up. Mm -hmm. Let's see how these seats feel. Oh, man, these are plush. And look at this. Oh, yes, this is it. Oh. <coughs> Kindly flush toilet after each use except when train is standing in station. Oh. Yeah. So. And here's the basin. Yeah. It's it right here. You're sad. Yeah. yeah. Little confining, but and then up here is your box that pulls down. <laughs> then here's your armrest that pull down. This is upscale. Even a fan up there. Oh. And these are alphabetically. This is D. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure there's more. Just... <coughs> oh, and here's different types. I see this one is. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this is just. Well, you're going so fast, nobody not, could even see. Not different types. This is just probably <laughs> at different stages. Okay. And let's go this way. No, you can't get out that way. You have to go all the way back. No, you get out. Up here? Okay, yeah, it's right here. Another. This is a small berth. No toilet, but you do have a sink. Put your luggage up there. There. This would be the. Here you got a toilet and a sink. Well, I just look. At, this is pretty cool. And watch your step. Pretty cool. <laughs> Climbed 
up these stairs to get up to the top to look out. They have the stairs blocked off, so you can't do that with these things. Then back here is where they slept, apparently. Get the clothes. Got the engine right here. So it holds up to 7,000 gallons of water. Look at that brake. That's a big brake in the tunnel. It's called the Overland, and we Union Pacific. This says the most dangerous place to ride on a train wasn't in the locomotive, but in the caboose in the rear. <laughs> wow said it's the slack action can knock people off their feet. And 1970s computer technology had made the caboose redundant. And here we have this engine. Even though this is a smaller one, it still uh, is a so it's a four, six. The can't get up here, but and here's the coal. That's the firebox. Not a whole lot of comfort. There. Hi there. We're at the um, Union Station in Omaha. Um, it was founded in 1855 and here is a wonderful stagecoach. How would you like to ride in this? It's I'm a Conestoga sure. wagon. What is it? A Conestoga wagon. A Conestoga wagon? Yeah. Mm -hmm, is what it says here. But I was thinking about your back. back trying to ride in this. It has supplies on the inside of it. So, just wanted to get a little picture. Is this how this. we're going home? Yeah, it might be how we're going home. I don't know. I think it'd be a hard trip. So, um, this is just one little video we're taking now. So, I just wanted to uh, show you this. These are made of steel. Pretty interesting. So, so catch you later. Some more. Bye. According to the plaque, this steamboat in 1890, I'm sorry, 1819, it's called the Western Engineer, traveled up the Missouri River. That's pretty, pretty interesting. Then over here is a mud wagon that they used in the winter. It's lighter than a stagecoach. Looks like it's very comfortable. There's a 
all set off. Box yolk, wheels. If this saloon bar could talk. Now look at this lady's dress. Can you imagine wearing that without any air conditioning? And the shoes, boots. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Get right on that. Here's a model of the latest ship to be christened the Omaha. USS Omaha, and here's previous ships have been. Here's some actual Indian arrows, guns. It's an old World War I helmet. Union Stockyards, 70 years of progress. Stop there on him. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. Then here is uh, firefighting equipment. Days gone by. A hose reel. And then here's a billy club, handcuffs, and the old ball and chain. Here's a printing press. And an old telephone. Wow. Mm -hmm. Imagine carrying that in your pocket as today's cell phone. Mm -hmm. Here's the Buffalo Scout, currently in its taxidermy state, it weighs 1,500 pounds. 2,500 pounds. Oh, 2,500 pounds? He was introduced to the museum's collection in the summer of 2006. Yeah. Just imagine this coming in. And this is our new home we just purchased. Got a skylight. You can crawl right in. This is a replica of an Indian headdress. Parlor uh, with a Waltham piano. And this is probably an old Sears and Roebuck catalog. Yeah. Had everything that you could ever imagine. There's the old pot belly. Well, that's not a pot belly stove, but it's similar. Oh, here's your new washing machine.
new washing machine right here. Yes. Scrub it in the tub, but mm -hmm. at least you can wring them out. And hang them up. And hang mm -hmm. them up right by your stove, your cupboard. And of course, your phone. And now we've upgraded. Upgraded to the hot point of plants. Yes, definitely the hot pot. Yeah. Nice refrigerator. Wonder if it has an ice maker. I don't think so. Then here's all kinds of good stuff. Even have a toaster. Yeah. Oh, and we've upgraded now to the Dexter washing machine that has a lid and a ringer, so it must have an agitator in there as it has a motor and a wonderful sewing machine. Yeah. Nice golf clubs. Wonder how far you could hit that on Tiger Woods. And TVs, those are, that's not a flat screen. Mm -hmm. No, it's a record player. Wonder if that would fit in your phone. Mm -hmm. And over here we have a new phone. It's got the rotary dial. Probably has a party line to go with it. Thomas Kimball purchased this 1920 Roche and Lang electric car for $4,000, an equivalent of $46,500 today. Over the next 10 years, she drove it only 1,906 miles. During much of that time, Arabelle only drove it around the yard at her home on St. Mary's Avenue. Okay. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's it. Until the 1910s, mm -hmm. electric cars were far more numerous than gasoline-powered cars. They could travel 70 miles on a single charge, about the same today, mm -hmm. providing more than enough capacity for city dwellers. Yeah, by the mid-20s, most electric cars went out of business. Steering wheel, it has a. Not sure how it steers. Hmm. Interesting. Now we have a street car. Let's climb aboard. All right. Please move back, the signs. Please move back. And up here is the control. Where are the conductor set? Wonder if that stool is very ergonomically correct. Ooh. And where are you going, ma'am? Oh, Quick I'm stop. He 
heading back to Kentucky to Kentucky Lakes just oh. uh, in a couple of weeks, but we're enjoying this. Uh, what is this? This museum. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Union Station. So. So the model trains were headed to to the left here. Right. Now yeah, we can step down. Now we have a passenger car mm -hmm. over here, but look at these big model trains. These trains are from the Union Pacific Historical Collection. That's Pacific Fruit Express car. Pretty interesting. Now we're looking at a Model A Ford manufactured from 1927 to 1931. Cloth interior. Look at that steering wheel. Where's the airbag? But it does have an armrest on the seat there. And then notice that it has a gear shift in the floor. Look at these running boards. And the trunk. Look at those snap closes on the trunk. And the spare tire. Imagine driving this today. And there's the horn on the outside. Mm. Then we have a Beacons Van and Storage Company moving truck. 
look at the chain drive on that thing. No universal drawing. Chain drive. Plenty of trucks up there. There's the inside of the cab. Clutch. Gear shift. Throttle. Look at that big steering wheel. This is a Mack truck. Big tires. There's your rear lantern light and chain drive. This on both tandems. Douglas truck. So this one has a universal joint. And then here's the back. There's a nice roller bag here. Imagine carrying that around. Here's the schedule for 1937, February 15th. Tells you what track, what time it arrives. Pretty cool. Your attention to you. Have your tickets ready for the Union Pacific Northwest. So this West. guy has a big ring number 21, the Pacific Limit. Pulling truck. Leaving at 8 and a big briefcase. For Columbus. And here's Grand the ticket. Cylinder. Where's the rest of this guy? They cut him off at the waist.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video of the Durham Museum here in Omaha, Nebraska, which was formerly the Union Station. That's why you see all the train information and then we have exhibits of other things here. Hopefully you like that. I do have upcoming another uh, video on the old barn site where I've cleaned it up a little bit more. We did go to the SAC Museum aka Strategic Air Command the other day and you'll be seeing a video on that and we do have a planned visit to the Omaha Zoo. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Let me know what you think by entering your comments. If you like it, please like it and please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.